David this morning prayed for a cleansing that was better than the ultimate white. While Bathsheba, if you recall, was getting clean in the bathtub, David was getting dirty looking at her. And I get a witness for it. He, the dirt process began with the look, and the look and the look didn't leave it on. So he was getting dirty looking at her. How many of you know that sin starts off small, but brings a lot of dirt with it? Dirt that washing powers cannot get out of, cannot get rid of. Can I get a witness? David said, purge me with hyssop. Hyssop is an herb that contains special cleansing properties. In the Bible, it was used in bunches. And if you recall over there in Exodus 12, verse 22, after it was dipped in the blood of an animal, it was used to brush the blood on the doorposts. The blood of the animal representing who everybody? Jesus Christ. By using the analogy of hyssop, David was actually praying for a cleansing that only God could give because of the future credited blood of Jesus, Brother Howard. Blood of Jesus on credit. Can I get a witness for you? That's how they would say it in the Old Testament, blood on credit. Can I get a witness for you? And, uh, you know, I like to go to the car wash sometimes. And there are plenty of them in Memphis. You have the Sunshine Car Wash, the Boomerang Car Wash, Mr. Pride Car Wash, Mr. Pride Car Wash. <laughs> Mr. Pride Car Wash, they all have these catchy names. But one thing they all have in common, they all Some of them call it the super watch. The super watch. It represents the ultimate car heaven car wash. It supersedes the six dollar basic quick or eager beaver wash. It promises to take you where no man has gone before. Now people will pay fifteen dollars, all up to thirty five dollars or more for these super washes. It promises a full body wash. Some of them entail even a five-day guarantee. I don't know what that means, as a car can get dirty again the next day. So I don't know what that five-day guarantee is all about. And also, most folk will not drive a dirty car too long, can they get a witness for me? Before they clean. If we can treat our cars or our bodies like we treat our cause. If we could treat our spirituality, let me see, Brother David, if we could treat our spirituality like we treat our cause, some of us would be ready for translation. Can I get a witness for it? We can get many spiritual applications from the car wash. First off, listen to me closely. Once you start driving through the car wash, you surrender yourself to that car wash. You have to put it in neutral. You have to take the foot off the brakes. You have to take your hands off the steering wheel. You are in full surrender to that car wash. And you can't stop, friends, when you get ready unless you want to come out half washed. In this Christian life, some of us are not fully clean because we are not fully cooperating with God's car wash. 
Can I get a witness? You better get on and let Jesus drive the car. Can I get a witness? That's what faith is all about. Can I get a witness in this place, friend? Next time you go to a car wash, remember Jesus is saying, give me full control. Let me drive you all the way through the wash. Friends, how many of you know you can't be clean your own way? Come on now. You hear it? You can't be clean your own way. You cannot come to God and tell God how you want him to clean you. You can't be clean your own way. You can't do a role reversal with God. Remember, Jesus is the one doing the washing. Not you. He knows where the dirt is. Even, But sometimes we don't know where all the dirt is. We don't know all the cracks and crimson of the dirt in our lives. We don't know. We, some of us not looking. We're so busy looking at other dirt. We can't see the, the dirt in our own. Can I get a witness, friend? We don't even know how dirty we are sometimes. That's a shame, friend, but a person don't know how dirty they are. Can I get a witness, friend? But you can't be clean your own way. This was Pilate's mistake, if you recall. After he turned over Jesus in Matthew 27, 24, what did Pilate do? Wash his hands and said, I am innocent. He wanted to be clean his own way. He washed his hands. He said, you want to have them. You guilty. But I'm the innocent one. I'm going to wash my hands. Sad to say, friends, that you know, his washing didn't be the fact. He was trying to wash his own hands. He was lying to himself. Talking about he was innocent. No, he was not. He was lying to his own dirtiness, which means he was going through the motions. Jesus was the one doing the real washing. Can I get a witness, friend? He's talking about he's washing his hands. Jesus was the one who was doing the real washing when he never said a public word. He was doing the washing. When he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He was doing the washing. When he saved that thief on the cross, he was doing the washing. Jesus is the one doing the washing around here. Can't get a witness, friend. But Pilate wanted to be clean his own way. A lot of times we sin and try to wash our own hands. Delete the email. Delete the text message. Or change the phone numbers. Who are concerned about hiding the evidence than letting God wash us? Can I get a witness, friends? Unless you stay in the car wash of Christ, the email and the texting will be calling you again anyhow. Because how many of you know, friends, that the devil doesn't like to leave you alone? You say, no, then one day and think that it's going to be all right. He's coming right back now. He wants to be a continual thorn in your flesh, a continual headache. He's coming right back at you. He'll leave you for a little season, but he'll come right back at you. But if you keep saying no, you got to go, then he will go. Can I get a witness for you? But we have to be clean God's way. If you recall, David was upset because he wanted to be clean his way. 2 Kings 5, 12 <laughs> made me laugh. He did not want to be dipped seven times in the dirty waters of Jordan. The prophet said, if you want to be clean, do this and do that and do that. And David was mad. He said, I thought he was going to come like one of those TV preachers and strike me on the head and kill me and all that kind of stuff. He's telling me to dip in some dirty waters if I want to be clean. And you know, the verse 12 made me laugh. He said, Are not Abana and Parfor rivers of the Damascus, Damascus better than the one of Israel? May not, may not wash, may, can I wash in them and be clean? And then he turned away and went into rain. Why? Because he wanted to be clean his own way. But let me tell you something, friends. He would never have been able to come up shouting, Lord, I've seen a change, had not he was that dipped. Now listen to me closely. 
But as it relates to us, I think it would be a little prideful for, for Elder Blank to say that Deacon Blank, I will take the basic watch. But because you have more sin in your life and because you sin more frequently, you need to super watch. I think it might be a little arrogant for a deacon is so and so or blank to say the pathfinder is blank. I'm going to take the eager beaver watch or the quick watch. But you showed up, need to take the super watch because your sins are bigger than mine. And you have a reputation about your sin. But I don't. I think you need a super watch. But friends of mine, I, I, I think it would be a little pride for us to try to look at each other and compare ourselves with each other to see how, you know, who's less dirty. Because the bottom line is we all have sin and come short of the glory of God. Can I get away with it? And once we take a good look at Jesus, we realize that all Jesus, he was quite calm for 
between rock and a hard place. Between their laws and then what he said, he was caught between rock and a hard place. But what did Jesus do? What was Jesus doing when they said, uh, uh, what, when they were ready to throw their stones? What was Jesus doing? Jesus was on his knees. See, don't be ready to throw a stone so quick, get on your knees. Parts of a car wash. 
the outside of the car looks good, but the inside is smelly, junky, and messy. It's not good for the driver or anyone else in the car. I remember a long time ago, I had a wife and I had to catch a ride with, with somebody going out of town. We were sitting at the passenger side, and all of a sudden I saw some roaches. I said, what? Roaches? In a car? In a car? Man, that was uncomfortable, man. I, I was going there with, with people that go to where I preach, and I had to pray. I didn't want to preach anything out. I said, man, this is, what, what is this? Decided 
I want to kill myself. And so, on one occasion, he took a pin knife. He pointed the point of it towards his heart. He fell down on that pin knife. But the pin knife broke. He was saved. On another occasion, he saw a river. And he said, I'm going to jump in that river. But his mind wouldn't let him jump. On another occasion, he, he prepared a cup of poison. But every time he tried to take that poisonous cup to his lips, his body would go into all types of uh, uh, agitations and, and spasms and, and just attack him to the point where he just couldn't bring the, the cup to his lips. He, he just, it was like he, he was paralyzed. God wouldn't let him do it. Then finally, a fourth time, he said, I'm going to hang myself. So he took that rope, got it around his neck, and he hung and hung and hung, almost dead. But all of a sudden, the guard broke. He fell to the floor. Half dead, but living. God has saved his life. And let me tell you something, friends. He went into a temporary bout of insanity, they say, for a little while shortly after that. But after recovering from that and recovering from everything, he was led to write the song. There is a fountain filled with blood. Draw from Emmanuel's vein, sinners plunge beneath that flood. Just raise your hand. 
Uh, so come on down, raise your hand if you want baptism before we get to information. But just say, I want a super watch. I want a super watch. A super watch. That's what I want. I want a super watch. Come on down. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus, if you come on down. Pray, church, you got to pray for us. 